Hi, I'm Joe Crabtree, and this is the fourth in a series of lessons on irrational rhythms. So in the last few lessons, we dealt with triplets, quintuplets, and septuplets. So that's three, five, and seven notes per beat. Today, we're going to look at nine notes in a beat. Now, we can approach this in exactly the same way as we did the others, i.e. using the not quite doubled system. So remember for five, we went one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, and two, and three, one. So two note, three notes per hand with a skip. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. For the sevens, it was four notes per hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So for the nines, you could go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That will give you nine. And that's one approach. But whereas five and seven aren't divisible by two or three, nine is divisible by three. So another approach to playing nontuplets is to think of triplets divided into triplets. So where you go one triplet, two triplet, you know, one, two, three, one, two, three. If you divide those into triplets, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's two different approaches to dividing in a beat into nine equal spaces. So what I'm going to do is use polynome to give me a rate of two followed by a rate of three. And I'll use the three as a basis for triplets so we can get to nine. So I'm going to play one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then we'll divide those triplets into nine. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So if I divide it into triplets like that, that's nine notes. And then I obviously want to even them out. But while the click is playing the triplets, I'm thinking of lining up one, two, three, 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 one. Okay, so that gives me nine. Now, if I actually put um, nine in here, we can play along to that. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. See, that's what nine, nine notes sounds like. Now I can accent those as the triplet thing, or we can do the not quite doubled thing, and we can think one, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. So I'll switch between the two. So at the end there, I was switching between triplets, divided into triplets for the first beat, and then one and two and three and four and five for the second beat. So that's basically two ways of feeling and hearing nine or non-triplets, nine notes per beat. Um, so basically to then get comfortable with this, you just want to do the same as we did in the last few lessons, which is do the two numbers twice system and switch between different rates and nine. So that was two to nine. So let's go from four to nine, and I'll put the two ones in at the end. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. Okay? So that's four to nine. So then you can switch from five to nine and when you're thinking of the not quite doubled system 
then five to nine is quite interesting because you're basically playing five on its like evenly spaced and then five a little bit slower because you're taking the half of the end. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, 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 one. So the first two one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, with no no jump. And then for the nine, you've got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Basically you've slowed down a little bit. Because obviously ten would be double five, so we're not quite double five. One, two, three, four, five, 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 one, two, four, five, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, one. You get the picture. A little bit rushed on the last one. So that's working between five and nine. And then if you go between four and nine, that's obviously slightly faster than doubling the four, which would be eight. So four to eight would be playing four and then doubling it. Four to nine is four and then doubling it and going a little bit faster. The nine's always the same. You just need to practice what it feels like to change gear between all these other rates and the nine. So you can work through those on your own until you feel comfortable with them and you get to the stage where you, you feel like you can just drop into a non to put at will. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this lesson. If you wanna check out Polynome or Pyramid, which is the same software for Mac and PC, or find out more about my online drum lessons, then you can visit joecrabtree.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.